everybody, this is Ginger here, and this is Ginger's Ranch Show, and I hope everybody is well. Hi, Dorothy. Hey, Nancy. Um, and hey, Dusty. How are things up in Vermont? And of course, I stated last time I talked to you about that. Uh, last time I was up in Vermont was the summer of 77. 1977, and I loved it up there. Beautiful riding country, too. I rode my horse there. Um, yeah, it can get cold. And they also have some wild thunderstorms roll through there, too. Um, I remember having to hide in my daughter or my sister's basement because it was so bad you couldn't be upstairs because she had a lot of picture windows so um so we were down in the basement and um uh, daylight basement because she had a second kitchen down there so we stayed down there until the storm was <coughs> over with <coughs> anyway uh Anyway, it's Friday, November 18th. It's the weekend. Start of the weekend. Uh, it's uh, up here in Lakewood. Uh, 46 degrees and we have a moderate air problem, air alert here. Um, I don't know why, but apparently there's some leftover fires that are still fighting. Um, so the smoke kind of comes this way, and of course you get cold air, then you get fog, and then it makes the smoke stay there, stay stagnant, and you know the drill. Uh, so I'm having some coughing issues here. So it's been kind of a ongoing battle, and uh, everybody else here is having the same issue. Doesn't help those with COPD either. So, okay, now on to the news. Uh, as you know, yesterday Nancy Pelosi has announced she's not going to run for re-election in the House caucus. Uh, also for Speaker. Right now the House has, the Republicans in the House have a very slim, um, league, if you will. But I think there's, what, three seats left in the House that haven't been flipped yet. Uh, a lot of the counts, we don't know until next week. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, Alaska is, of course, you know, Alaska is very remote in some places, so it takes a while for Alaska. Um, and then, of course, Colorado. Fox News falsely claimed, as always, that this Republican guy, or the, the Democratic challenger has conceded the race. Well, no, he hasn't. It hasn't happened yet. And the counts are still ongoing. And so they're just putting words in his mouth is what they're doing. And I double-checked the information. Fox News is wrong. The recount is still going. It's a, um, <clears throat> by Colorado law. Because if it's very, very close, we count percentage points, I forgot what it is, but he said it certain, reaches a certain percentage point, then the uh, recount is required. Well, mistakes do happen. So, they're working on, hey, T, nice seeing you. Good, I saw your video this morning. I was drinking coffee, trying to wake up. And I was listening to what you were saying, and you know you're right. Uh, a lot of issues, and we do need, I think now we need two parties to replace the GOP. Or have another party come in and take over the GOP. Um, GOP basically, yeah, they lost a lot of power in anything, and their radical element did not help things any at all. 
Um, so either we need a new party to take its place or two new parties and have a better equal, let's say, better consensus, if you will, I think. I mean, look at, look at Great Britain over there. Um, they have multiple parties, and then they, whoever they elect to their seats in there, then they form a government. Um, and so they have a pretty good set. They don't have all this crap like we do. Uh, they don't like per, I think per, per British law, I could be wrong. Uh, they don't allow radicals in there at all. They said either common sense type thing, you know, think, you know, we do require people to think things through. I like the way how they operate. Um, also, uh, thank you, Key. I do a lot of research. <laughs> Yeah, how it is when you go through college, you go through school, and you're going, research, research, research. Uh, so I've done a lot of that. And so, uh, they have a, I think some ways Great Britain has a better setup in their counterpart to our Congress, somewhat of a better setup. Ours could be improved. I mean, it could be improved by quite a bit. But as far as Nancy Pelosi stepping down and letting another generation take over and she'll be mentoring that generation, she'll remain as a House representative. Uh, I can't say I really blame her right now because after what, her, what happened to her husband, Paul, uh, she's thinking now family's a little bit more important for her, which it is, like her kids, her grandkids, her husband. Um, you know, in my prayers and blessings to her, and I wish her luck, and hugs and love. Um, uh, and she kept a lot of the conservatives, and kept a lot of the radical kind in their place. Uh, in other words, you don't mess with her. <laughs> And it, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, she's uh, she hasn't been as well, hasn't been not assigned to a committee yet because they don't have a House Speaker as of yet, as of, until January. So um, she put her bid in for that, but also they're going to try doing this impeachment thing on Biden, which is laughable. I mean, they don't have anything on him at all. And a lot of the Republicans that have been interviewed said, it's not going to happen. we got more important things to focus on and fix. So uh, they let the moderate or the liberal branch of the Republican Party rise and start working with the other across the aisle things will probably be much better. Oh, by the way, uh, so yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I was so out of it on Wednesday because I had my shot on last Tuesday. That's why I didn't have my rant. Uh, <clears throat> I had my COVID booster shot, my flu shot, and it really knocked me through a loop. Uh, I expected for that to happen. Uh, but it's better than fighting, having to fight the real things. So, I just don't care to catch the real things. I don't do well. Um, so, anyway, um, let's see, where were we? Oh, um, they had the house passed the bill to codify the Marriage Act. In other words, it's an act where anybody can marry anybody, regardless of sex or whatever. And I think sex should be in that, you know. 
long as people are happy and they love each other, I'm happy for that. <coughs> um, so that's been codified and it's been sent to the Senate. And when that happens, uh, then they pass that, then it will go on to President Biden's desk. Um, now, Representative High King Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey, uh, he's launching his bid to be lead House Democrat in the caucus and go for Speaker of the House. Uh, and as I said before, there are three other House seats that are up for grabs, either Republican or Democrat. They hope to flip to Democrat. Uh, and let's see. Oh, and also on the Senate side, there is a Senate seat that needs for a recount. Count. Uh, you know who that is. Um, That happens on, what do you think, December 6th? Yeah. And Herschel Walker is like, he's been saying so many dumb things, he reminds me of he who shall not be named. And he who shall not be named should drop his run. Oh, speaking of which. Guess what? This just came on the news. Attorney General Garland has uh, named a special counsel to handle the criminal investigations at Mar-a-Lago because of the top secret documents that Trump has stolen and also January 6th as well. The person, uh, I didn't write down the name of the person who's the special counsel, but he will double check everything and then we'll make recommendations. Uh, like I said, this, this just came on about what, five, 10 minutes ago. We'll just have to wait and see. And we just have to be patient. And yes, the will to justice does turn slow because there's so many court cases on the docket and everything. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, Jack Smith. Mr. Smith is very experienced, highly experienced in all this. And <clears throat> he will put out a recommendation. So sooner or later, who knows, we might hear a indictment announcement. Um, they want to make sure the case is airtight. You don't want impatience in there. You want it so airtight that uh, he who shall not be named can't get out of it. And <clears throat> also the reason why Garland's doing this is because he's putting a layer between himself and President Biden. Because uh, President Biden will maybe be announced to run for his second term. Trump, um, Again, who shall not be named? Um, it did his announcement, which was very low in energy. And what really upset me, and pardon to say, pissed me off, is that he lost those people that were there to listen to his speech in his ballroom and wouldn't let them out, wouldn't allow them to leave, really. Well, I'm pretty sure that violation of West um, Palm Beach's fire department ordinance. And he could be heavily fined for that, because what if a fire broke out? And uh, that's endangering people. That is false. To me, that is false imprisonment. You're supposed to, by law, you're supposed to keep doors unlocked at all times. The only exception is, is the apartments that are security apartments like mine is here. Uh, you have to have a key to get into the building uh, and then your apartment's well locked and everything too. I keep mine locked all the time. 
but uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna have to pull, pull up my. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna have to pull up my air filter. So anyway, um, we'll wait and see what happens in the House as far as the Democratic leadership. Who's going to take up the reins? Uh, they want younger people on there. And she's smart for doing this. And I think Mr. McConnell needs to, oh, the Senate side, he needs to take a hint. Uh, Mr. Schumer, he's been elected again as House, as a uh, Republican, or Democratic leader, and on the Democratic side, and of course it's the House majority. Uh, majority leader, and he will probably soon, uh, I'm sure he's pretty much grooming somebody younger than he is, and teaching him all the aspects of leadership, and that's probably what he's doing. Um, it sounds like McConnell isn't. He wants to keep all the information himself. Well, that's kind of a big mistake. Uh, so, he's still minority leader, and it sounds like to me, many of the Republican senators are, about 10 of them, are what give McConnell the boot. They haven't held the election for him yet, or for that position yet, and they may give him the boot, force him out to pasture, because he's been blocking maybe many of their bills, too. Uh, no, we're preventing the work that needs to be done. And, um, I think Senator Schumer did a wonderful job of clearing up the desk. I, I really do. And they're reviewing a lot of the other bills that have been sitting there that McConnell just wouldn't allow to go, come to the floor. <clears throat> well, that's not helping things any. So McConnell should go out to pasture. Or then, uh, need somebody in there that is young, young, but also wants to do public service and get things fixed and get things done. Because we got other issues that we need to worry about, which is the Yahoo over in uh, the Kremlin. Uh, Putin brought this all on himself. That's what he really did. Oh, and Ulun has set off ICBM, which, too bad it can't be uh, forced to reverse course and go back and go back and go after Ulun. Um, Ulun's not a leader. He's a spoiled brat. And I feel sorry for the people in North Korea. They don't deserve somebody like him at all. They really don't. They deserve to be democratic and uh, govern themselves. Not have some idiotic dictator in there. Yeah, I understand Durante was kicked out. So. Um, dictators have no place on this planet. Ever. They're just like little schoolyard boys. And you know, you ran into them when you were in school. So, anyway, um, I, since I'm having trouble talking because of the, uh, smoke and everything that's in here, I gotta turn on my, uh, fan if I have any room for that. I gotta, Get out my um, uh, um, air filter. Cause I'm starting to have trouble talking because of this. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And Nancy, I'm still working on uh, my store and fixing that up. Uh, I'm going back with it now.
they did some changes on the how you pay for the item. I'm still working on that. I cannot use PayPal because PayPal won't let me. Uh, ramp back PayPal says you can't withdraw, you can't do this, you can't do that. PayPal needs to be, uh, I think somebody needs to take over PayPal. That's not the purpose of PayPal. If people want to cancel their, uh, PayPal subscription, let them do so. Uh, I tried doing it, they wouldn't let me, and they did not give me a reason, and I think they need to be reported. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I need to report them. Uh, because by law they're supposed to, if people want to cancel or withdraw a subscription from somebody like PayPal, they can't. And <clears throat> even, um, I don't know if you have an Amazon subscription or not, Nancy, I'm looking at going into Amazon for Amazon Pay. But if I don't, I'm going to see if I can find what's the best. Uh, pay system for that and um, I will Dorothy you too stay safe down there in Florida oh another thing um, before I sign off did you watch the uh, oh you do have Amazon okay would you like me to uh, set up an Amazon pay thing on my store I can't um, I can set that up. Let, think on it, let me know, Nancy. Because I like to, you know, uh, get more customers. <laughs> and I'm looking at going back to Deasters, because the other drop shipping companies, they want you to pay a certain plan for them and I'm going uh uh you don't do that most drop shipping companies you know they put out their product easy okay Nancy okay I will let you know um but anyway uh anything else oh did any of you guys watch the Ar Artemis watch rocket watch did you watch it live on any of the YouTube uh, face news channels like Afar TV or Launchpad um, or Overlook Horizon? RMS launched last Tuesday. Um, it's now about how many miles from Earth is it? Is it from now? Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, okay, uh, distance to the moon, 121,338 miles to go, uh, distance from the Earth is 196,876 miles from Earth, and she's going about 1,450 miles per hour, uh, the Artemis capsule, and she's all that being, uh, okay, good, Nancy. She's being powered by two solar panels to save on fuel. Uh, some people will, why is six weeks taking so long? They want to do a thorough testing on all the equipment on board. Reason why they're doing this is to make sure everything is safe prior to putting two people on the moon on in 2024, two years from now. Um, because there's some brand new equipment and everything up there and everything's upgraded. And you just want to double check everything, triple check everything. So far it's been going good. Uh, and then uh, after that, when it comes back, they'll retrieve the capsule from the ocean. Uh, and then they do analysis on it and do whatever changes that need changing. Um, or adding stuff, or subtracting stuff, you don't know. 
uh, what kind of information you'll pick up. And also at the same time, while the capsule circling the moon, Artemis is circling the moon, that they'll pick out uh, one of the three landing spots there, <coughs> uh, landing sites, and also to pick out a spot for the uh, Gateway Moon uh, village there. So they're in the process of doing that. People don't understand why we're wasting money on this. We're not wasting money. Because all the time we're creating new technology and eventually technology comes back to us like you and me. Like our cell phones, uh, like our computers, like our laptops. <coughs> Uh, new applications, that type of thing. Things are being changed all the time. Sure, it goes speed by or speed goes really fast, but you know, if we could work it and uh, have it work for us, that'd be great. You know. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And I hope to see you guys on Monday. Uh, let's see, do I have anything going on on Monday? One minute, let me check. Um, uh, let's see. Next week is Turkey Week. Uh, Wednesday, I am not doing my rant. Nor I will be doing my rant on Friday next week, but I will be doing my rant on Monday. So, I will see you guys later. I love you. Be sure to insist, persist, and share, and push back. Okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, and I will also post this on YouTube, too. Bye-bye.